Hello once again internet. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a service called Add This and what Add This does is gives you uh, follow icons and share icons on like your on your website. So I'm pulled up my Tumblr as an example. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you'll go to addthis.com and you'll create an account by clicking get started free and then you will register by putting in your email address and a password then retype your password or you can sign in with your google account with a facebook account or a twitter account um, and then just follow the process that they have um, i'm not going to go through it all just because i have a account i'm going to go ahead and log in once you have created a account you'll see something that looks a lot like this um, and then you can edit your account settings and such later. So what you'll do is you'll come up to the top left and you'll click add profile. Then you'll give a name to this profile. I'll do that. And then what it does is gives you an ID and then there's more settings that I'm not gonna go into. I'm going to show you how to install the like share buttons and follow buttons, etc. First, I'm going to show you how to add the follow buttons to your website in Tumblr, uh, WordPress, and Blogger. So I'm gonna start with Tumblr. So what you'll do is you'll find type you want, and since I keep all the stuff in my videos as free as possible, I'm going to select this one and turn it on. Um, then I'm going to edit the information here and add this has added a lot of different profiles for you to add to your list of social profiles so I'll be right back as I edit all this information so once I've selected the ones I want to use then you scroll down to the bottom and if say for whatever reason you find one that you don't want you just come down here and click the X then they give you ones for you to fill in and I like that what they've done with the YouTube option is that they give you three different options so if you're a account with a slash user then you put in that one if you don't have a custom URL yet then you can put in that random numbers and letters thing after that and if you have a slightly custom URL that isn't a user account then you can use the slash C and you'll know what type of URL you are on YouTube but that's an aside I also appreciate that they have a snapchat option I'll fill out a few of these <laughs> So once you've filled out everything, then you can click show, show more options. And you can have a show thank you or not, and you just click activate. So once you have activated a set of things, you can click get the code. And then you'll need to take this code and in your code, put it right before the slash body code. So in my Tumblr, click edit HTML, scroll all the way down right before the slash body. Then over in my get the code page, scroll down even more and get code for activated tools, which I did not do before. So with this code, I can come back into my Tumblr code and then find where I want it. We will put it there and then update preview, then hit save. And voila, there we have our add this options, plus my few extra random ones. That's one way to add follow options to your Tumblr. Another way to do it would be to put it in your blog's description, which will be the easiest for many um, because the code is different and I know a lot of people have a hard time understanding code in general. But that is how you do that. Next, we will go to our blogger site. You'll need to go to your back end, find wherever it is that you're going to put it. I'm going to put it in my sidebar. I'm going to add a gadget. I'm going to put in a HTML widget, give it a title. Once you add the widget, come over to your page that has all the code. And what you'll do is you'll copy your first one and then you'll put that into your little content box. Then you'll come back to this page and get the activated code, copy it. Then I'm not sure if it matters. Um, but let me know in the comments below if it's fine to put it down below. What I know works is that if you uh, put it above this code and copy. So this is your activated tools code and this is the code that is required to be there. Um, then you'll hit save. Then when you come over to your site, 
and refresh it, then you have your follow icons right here, right on your Blogger site. So that's how you do it in Blogger. Now over in WordPress, and this is for WordPress.org, not WordPress.com. If you want follow buttons on your WordPress.com site, then you will have to use the ones that WordPress gives you in a WordPress.org powered site. Basically, if you own a domain name and you've installed WordPress on your site, then this is how you do it. You'll come over to your plugins and you'll want to uh, hit add new. Then you will search for add this and then there'll be a handful of them. So you'll want to use the follow buttons plugin. Come over here, make sure you're logged in come down to follow buttons from here you can edit the settings of your section and then i'll cover how to add the share buttons in a later video but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click these red subscribe buttons to subscribe to their respective channels and as always i will see you guys in the next tutorial